upon a dream. Now, before you say, I don't watch Disney movies, I will tell you this. This is not like the Disney movies that we, my generation, grew up with. It wasn't based on the drama triangle where something or someone else is out to save the damsel in distress and then, of course, live happily ever after. Disney has upped their game. Congratulations, Disney, because they are talking about things that are real, that matter, emotions, our mental awareness. Disney did their research on emotions and the mind and how we project either anxiety or joy into our reality based on our beliefs. And this is my jam. This is what I am a teacher, a coach, a trainer, a practitioner, and a messenger of emotional intelligence. And in this video, I'm going to give you the three ways of mastering your emotions and your energy so that you master your life. So let me explain where the movie Inside Out 2 comes in. And for those of you that will not go see it, that's totally fine. I'm going to give you what you my best takeaways from the movie. I do highly recommend that everybody sees it, though, because it really does give a great visual of what happens in our minds. It makes us laugh about it and makes us have awareness of it. So let me explain where the movie Inside Out 2 comes in. For those of you that are going to go see it, I will be mindful of the spoiler alerts by just pointing out the things that really touched me in the movie without ruining the movie for you. Deal? So years ago, when the first movie Inside Out came out, it was wonderful how Disney created a new level of awareness of what's inside of each of us. Because it's not outside in as we have learned, right? If I want something, I have to go get it. If I want respect, my son has to change in order for me to get it. If I want more power, I have to go get more money or whatever that thing is. It's not outside in, it's inside out. And that distinction, first of all, just even in the title of the movie, when you live from the inside out, knowing you create your own reality from the inside and then Instead of having to go out, let me please everybody else. Let me do everything for everybody else. Let me uh, accomplish all this and then I'll feel. It's an empty trap. So years ago when the when first uh, Inside Out, it was wonderful how Disney created a new level of awareness of the inside of us and the emotions and the train of thoughts that we all experience, all of us as humans. Emotions and thought experience are universal for each and every one of us. They are a human experience. One of my biggest wishes or intentions was that Disney back years ago with the first movie, that Disney would bring in more emotions because in the first movie, they characterized just five emotions and it was joy, anger, sadness, fear, and disgust. And all of them have their own characteristics and characters. So it helps you visualize. Like when I see myself back then, when I would see myself get angry, I would imagine that like boxy little guy with the fire and, you know, he represents anger. And so I would feel that. Right. So but but it's not that simple. It was a great start, but there are so many more emotions that we experience. And as we get older and understand more, our priorities change. So in this new movie, Inside Out 2, they really did a really good job because they showed how, as your kid, things are more simple. You have basic emotions. But as you grow and you move into the teenage years and you hit puberty, you start to develop a lot of other different emotions, such as anxiety. So they did a great job of showing how someone grows into a teenager from the basic emotions, such as joy, anger, fear, sadness, and disgust. But then as they move into a teenager, anxiety can take over unless you have tools. And that's where I come in. So the other day, my um, handyman at my house 
Um, he happens to be my girlfriend's uh, nephew. He came over and he said, oh, I'm gonna, I got to rush and do this real quick because we're going to go see the movie. Me, Mick and I and the kids are going to go see the movie Inside Out too. And I went, I didn't know there was another movie. I didn't had no idea. We're kind of out of that phase with the, you know, uh, Disney part with the kids, unfortunately. Um, they'll be open sometimes, but I just didn't know. I'm not in the know that there was a new Inside Out movie, right? I loved the first one. Such a fan, right? And then he also had his younger kids. And, you know, I loved, I loved it for them when they were younger. And so I didn't know if they would be open to it, but I just left it at that. So the very next day he comes back, this is on a Wednesday morning, he comes back and he tells me how amazing the movie was and how his wife really resonated with it because she is riddled with anxiety, his words. And so she was crying because she was like, wow, I finally get, I finally understand. And that is so key because awareness of why we feel crazy sometimes or awareness of why are my emotions so big or why am I overreacting? That's the key to change. So, I mean, the fact that this movie is creating awareness for those people that are riddled and just spinning in anxiety, it's just awesome. So we're having this conversation. Now I'm intrigued because this is what I do. This is what I help people do. This is what I help people release their anxiety. So that very same day, I, I went out to lunch with a friend and client of mine, Michelle. And Michelle said to me, did you see the new Inside Out 2 movie? It's exactly what you teach. They talk about projections like you do, but you give the practical tools and, and how to change them when you don't feel good. It's like they made this an awareness and it's like now you come into play of what you and the council do, right? She went on to say that it was very moving and eye-opening and that practicing energy mastery, like myself and the council have taught her and many others, and what I'm going to share in this video, she said that it's just essential for a better life and, and was grateful. And, and I felt that way too. So oh, I was like, okay, I definitely want to go see it, right? That night, my beautiful light-filled assistant, Beth, who first started out as a client, made an intention to someday work with me. And years later is my trusted assistant, uh, confidant friend, just, uh, such amazing light provider for our community. So, and her wife, uh, Kim is also my program concierge, but that night when I get into doing one of my programs, um, an energy healing, uh, class, Beth told me you, Christy really need to see inside out. It's exactly what you teach others to do. And then she deeply thanked me for the work that I do. Three times, three people, same day, right? When you are aware, when you understand, when you know how to master your own emotions, life is freeing, it's powerful, it's joyful. And when you understand that anything you're feeling, such as I don't have enough or I'm not enough, you have the ability to fill yourself up with being enough. Because life is as we choose. It's as we choose to see it and experiencing it. And with the tools that I teach and to help move through any contrast, which is what we don't want, right? Move through grief, any negative experiences or past traumas. That's all we need. That's all I needed in that moment. It was like, that's all I needed. Three people, same day. Okay, universe, I'm listening, right? I take things as three as a sign to go see it because I felt that inspired nudge to have how, how, because all three of them are like, oh my God, it was great. But they're all left with, well, at least my handyman, his wife are like, well, how Michelle, she's learning the how Beth, she's on the other side, knowing, mastering the how. And so the first thing I, I did is I'm like, okay, when can I go see the movie? So I went and saw the movie with my girlfriend, Jody. And I did take a notepad in there because again, this is my jam. This is my area of expertise. This is what I do. Emotional intelligence, mental balancing, uh, you know, projection, projection into a happy, joyful future instead of a negative and anxious one. So the first thing I want to say about the movie is they talked about our belief system, which I absolutely love. The movie created a wonderful visual 
of the energetic connection that we have with our own inner sense of self, our world of words, thoughts, perspective or projections, emotions, and actions, and how all of them come from memories. So when you, they did this visual, when you played the string, it shares a statement of a belief such as, I am a good person. Ding. It's like a stream. I'm a good person, right? Or I am not enough. I'm not good enough. So the string had a energetic vibration. And when the same vibration is activated, this is me saying this now. Now, when the same vibration, when the same thought, I am enough, I am enough, I am enough, or I am a good person, I'm a good person, I'm a good person, or I am not enough, I'm not, when we're playing that string, it's like playing an instrument. We've been talking about this for years, like playing the keys on a piano, Right. When you are playing that key over and over and over, it becomes stronger. It becomes more powerful. It it creates a momentum. It's what you are aligned with. And then you're creating momentum with it, whether it's either good or bad. And the universe doesn't care. It responds to that vibration that we are giving out. That's law of attraction 101. That's why when you say, I am a good person, you feel good. When you say, I'm not good enough, or you have a negative thought or a a, a negative thought that makes you feel bad, it's coming from lack. And we never feel good in that. So understanding that our beliefs come from, it starts with a thought and then a thought that we think over and over and over again until we see evidence of it. And then we go, see, it's true. I'm not good enough. See, it's true. I'm not good with money. See, it's true. I'm bad at relationships. But we can also go, see, it's true. I am a kind person. See, it's true. I am generous. See, it's true. I do have people that love me. I am lovable. So we either accept the negative or we challenge those negative thoughts and tell ourselves something positive, telling ourselves something, wait, that's not true. I am good enough. And then the beliefs shift and then we create a very different reality. It starts with our own thoughts. It starts actually before the thought is formed with the energy. So next in the movie Inside Out 2, And in our daily lives, they mention how the emotions control everything. If you don't control the emotions, that's my part. Let me say that in a different way. If you don't know how to manage or master your own emotions, and most of us don't, most of us meaning are human beings, right? If we don't know how to manage our own emotions, have emotional intelligence, Our emotions master us. So this was beautifully displayed in the movie because you are the master of your own emotions when you know how, when you have practical tips and tools on how to do that. And here you're in the right place. So welcome to this channel. Another point that I want to make is that, and this is really big because this is the one thing that was driving me crazy about the movie. Anxiety is not an actual emotion. Anxiety is actually a disease state like depression. Depression is not an emotion. Depression is a suppression of sadness. Then the person becomes depressed or the, the feeling, the state of being depressed is a state of grieving, which I've talked about the five stages of grieving as well. On the other side, you have over amplification of emotions such as fear, doubt, worry, And if they're not dealt with, then it leads to this over-amplifying feeling of anxiety. Anxiety is actually a disease state that pharmaceutical companies can throw a drug at. Well, anxiety is a symptom of an emotion. Let's go to the cause, not to the effect. It's a symptom of an emotion that is over-activated. We feel the fear and then suppress the fear And then the projection becomes this worst case scenario into a future that doesn't feel good. 
And that causes the anxiety. The anxiety is actually not the root of it. The anxiety can cause the anxious behaviors, but the suppression of fear and worry, like worry is one of the emotions they definitely could have put in there because fear and worry are different or even doubt, right? It, 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 doubt, all that, that suppressed doubt, worry, fear, that's what causes it to grow into a state of being anxious. So when you know energy mastery practices and tools, then you can master your fear, your worry, your doubt, so that those emotions get expressed as they are intended to do, as it is energy in motion, right? Emotion, and not build up and get over amplified to anxiety. There are practical tools and tips and things that I've been teaching for well over two decades. So next thing is, I love how they also talked about suppressed emotions and how memories actually, they either create a feeling of good or bad. And how what I do is that you can bring up a memory and try to see it from a different perspective. So you hold it differently so that in your container, you're attracting differently. You're transmitting differently. I also love how they talked about that there's the back of the mind. And then there's also that secret, you know, that 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 dark, big, dark secret. And, and this big, dark secret wasn't ready to be revealed yet. It was really, really cute. So when they were showing, one other thing I want to say is that when they were talking about projection, And they're actually showing how either anxiety was projecting a picture in the character Riley's mind. It was either a projection of joy or it was a projection of anxiety, right? It was a picture. And that picture, what really happens is the image in our mind of something either good or bad, it's all fueled. It's all, there's all momentum in there. When someone is thinking happy, joyful thought, then you feel the emotion. When you think a horrible worst case scenario, an anxious thought or a thought that's made of fear or doubt or worry, then you start to feel even more fearful and then become anxious. So when they showed the projection of either anxiety or joy in the character of Riley's mind, The character of disgust said, anxiety is using Riley's mind against her. And that's how it is. Anxiety or that energy that over, it's like bigger than us. It feels so overwhelming. Ask me how I know. Anxiety uses, that fear uses a future projection. We future project with the energy of fear. And then use our powerful imagination, thinking about, entertaining, conversing with the worst case scenario picture. Of course, we're going to feel anxious. Of course, we're going to feel bad. But when you project pictures of joy, we get at ease. We feel good. So we are the ones that need to be aware of what we are projecting into our future. Are you projecting joy or are you projecting anxiety? I also love that at the core of the movie and at the core of who we really are, the biggest thing is our own self image, or as they talked about in the movie, our sense of self. And when your sense of self is more positive than negative, we feel good. It's not all positive. We all have things. But when it's more positive, it's on the tipping side of positive than negative, we feel good. But the same is true. When you are feeling more negative, let's face it, we all have some things that we feel bad about or that things that we don't think we're good enough at. We all things that we put down ourselves or we criticize or judge ourselves. One might say we could really persecute ourselves. So it's time to put down the beating stick. Stop beating ourselves over how bad we are and how not we're not good enough and that critical judgmental voice. Put the beating stick down. Let yourself come into a space of compassion, which is neutrality. Allow yourself to feel neutral. And then 
move into that space of feeling good. Pick up your magic wand. Put down the beating stick, pick up the magic wand. Focus on the positive aspects about who you are. Focus on the great qualities that you do show each and every day. Focus on the fact that your soul is your biggest fan and always will and carries compassion and love for you. Focus on what you do want to feel about yourself. So some other last takeaways from the movie Inside Out 2, which I definitely recommend everybody go watch. Again, it's not like the old Disney movies and you don't have to have kids. My girlfriend and I, she's 63 and I'm 53 and we were giggling and laughing and totally could relate. So one of the biggest things, and if you take away this from this movie or, or this video or the movie is we need to embrace, include into the wholeness and the oneness, embrace all of our complex emotions. All of our emotions have value. Think of it as like your team. They're all on your side, wanting to make your life better. All emotions are good. They have value. Emotions are not either good or bad. They're not either positive or negative. They are there to inform you. They are there to connect you. And there, as Abraham Hicks says, They're our guidance system. They're letting us know if we're moving towards something we want or moving towards something that we don't want. And it's us, each of us individually, our own free will. We all have free will. And it's up to us, each of us, to choose what we want to create by where we focus our consciousness. What's our consciousness? The words that we say you haven't gone to watchyourwords.com, start there. Imperative. You have to know the words. Words like can't, don't, try, miss. These words pull our energy down. They start the energetic momentum of what doesn't feel good, of worry, of fear. These are words that we get to choose. Nobody chooses the words for us. We choose the words that we say to ourselves or speak. Words. Words matter. So go to watchyourwords.com. It's essential. Words matter. Words, thoughts, images or projections, pictures, emotions. So there's words, thoughts, pictures, images, emotions, and then our actions. That's our five aspects of consciousness. And I can talk about emotions and emotional intelligence for days. As a matter of fact, I go very deep into the subject in my coaching certification program called the Quantum Success Coaching Academy, and also the master class Quantum Energy Master Experience that gives all this information, practical tools, everything to really help you improve your life. Because in order to create your own reality, we need to master our emotions. We need to embrace and accept all of our emotions because it's a part of us. But, and understand, our emotions are not who you are. You are not your anxiety, even though it's not an emotion. You are not your fear. You are not your worry. You are not your doubt. You are not your anger. You are not your rage. You're not your irritation. You are not your emotions. You are the one that chooses your emotions. Now, if that feels like a totally like... No, I'm reactive. My fear just comes up. That's what energy mastery will help you do. You are not your emotions. You are the one that chooses your emotions. You are not your thoughts. You are the one that chooses your thoughts. You are not your body. You have a body. So finally, the movie represented what I teach on a daily basis. And we can call in We can call in and choose the feeling, the emotions, the essence, the energy of what we want to experience. We choose it. Nobody else chooses it for us, but we must learn how. And so here's what I'm going to cover really quick for you. We can go deeper in other places, but here is three steps to understanding and mastering your emotions. Number one is awareness. Be aware that you're having the emotion. You don't have to name it. 
You don't have to describe it. That's not important. Actually, I would recommend not because it will get the mind involved. And when the mind gets involved with the emotions, then you get stuck. So being aware of the emotions, just having an awareness of it, feel the energy underneath the emotions. You want to clear the emotions first and then connect with the positive thoughts after. So you have to have the awareness in order to do that. Number two, in order to process the energy, you have to have an understanding. You have to understand that you are energy, that the emotions itself are energy. You have to understand that. And then number three is the knowledge of how to move the energy. You can clear the emotions first, like we like I said, and then clear the mental aspect, but both the emotions and the mind are interconnected. And when you have an awareness of your own emotions, which is the first step, anxiety can feel like you're spiraling. You're, you're like losing control of your heart rate, your breathing, your sense of connection of who you really are. And then you project into, into a very, very negative future. When you are just having awareness that you are doing that, that alone can settle you. And then having an understanding of what's happening. Oh, this is my emotion. My emotion is really big. This must be coming some, from somewhere. I am having an emotional wave that is moving through me. It's not forever and it's not permanent. It's not going to kill me. It's an energy wave moving through me. Okay, I have this understanding. Now the knowledge comes in, the know-how. How? How? How do you work with energy? How can you utilize your mind to move energy to deliberately create what you want? How can you move that energy through by paying attention to the pulsation like a pulse or a heartbeat and feel that wave releasing out of your energy field? That's what I teach. So keep watching videos and definitely go watch the movie just to have because the awareness Awareness, people can, can be in the awareness phase for years, not having an understanding or, or they get a concept. I get the concept that everything is energy, but still resisting their own emotions. That's the second step of really understanding. And once you understand, once you really understand, we go deep into that in quantum energy mastery, but once you really understand, then it's time to, okay, I need tools. And that's the knowledge. That's number three. I want to remind each and every one of you, you are the light. You are not your mind. You are not your emotions. You are light. And we have a connection to light that is unlimited and universal. And it really all does come from the inside out. <laughs>